In this video, I'm going to show you how with the Barn2 WooCommerce product table plugin, it's really quick and easy to set up an audio store like this one here, where your customers can preview and purchase audio tracks, be it songs, albums, sound effects, audiobooks, in an easy to navigate list. So on my testing site, you can see I have set up a few audio products displayed in an easy to navigate list. So each audio product has its own embedded audio player where the customer can listen to a preview of the track or an excerpt from it. Then there's cover art, name, category, price, and the add to basket and buy buttons. And you can see this first audio product in the list has a variable. So this one has an option of MP3 to download afterwards or a physical CD copy. So a customer can come to the site, browse all the available audio tracks, purchase the ones they want, and all without leaving the audio store page. No having to navigate to confusing separate product pages. It's all here in one list and purchasing is easy. Once purchased, the customer gets a link to download their audio files. Simple. The problem is that you can't create a list like this in the raw version of WooCommerce. You're going to need a plugin to do it, and a link to the WooCommerce product table plugin you need is in the description below. So let's begin creating an audio store. I'm going to assume you already have the free e-commerce plugin WooCommerce set up on your site. So let's start by adding some audio products to it. Once we have our audio products set up, I'll show you how to list them in an easy to navigate list just like this one. To add new products, I'm going to go to my admin and then to WooCommerce products and add new. And we can add a name for our audio product here. And to start, I'm going to go to the product data section. Now, if you're not seeing the product data section, go to screen options at the top here and make sure product data is ticked. And also, I find it easier to see the product data details if I work in one column view, which you can change here if that works better for you. In the product type dropdown, I'm going to select simple product. And next, I'm going to tick both the virtual and downloadable options, as I want my customers to be able to download the audio file after purchase. As soon as I click downloadable, you'll see new options display below. I'm going to add a price here, and now because this is going to be a downloadable product, I need to provide the audio file or the link to the audio file that the customer will download. So I'm going to click Add File, then enter a name for my file. So I'll just make this the same as my product. And then we need to tell WooCommerce which audio file to serve to the customer after purchase. So we can either choose an already uploaded file or upload a new one. Or we can enter the URL to where the file is stored externally. And then after purchase, the customer will receive a secure email with a link to download their audio. To add a picture, I'm going to go to the product image section and set product image. And you can either choose artwork you have or upload new artwork. If I preview this product now, we'll see how it looks on the single product page, like this. And the important thing missing from this is, of course, an audio player. We need some way for the customer to preview the audio. We need to embed the audio in the product so the customer can listen first. And that's what we're going to do next. To add an audio preview, I'm going to go back into my product. And in the short description, I'm going to click Add Media. And then you need to select the preview audio or upload a new file. I'm using the short description because in the single product page view, depending on your theme, the short description usually appears at the top and the main description lower down. It's worth noting that when we start building our list of products, we can disable the link on products so a customer will always stay on our main audio store page. Now, the preview audio file could be the same as the file the customer will download. But if you want to, say, have a shortened version for the preview, then this file will, of course, be different. Now I have the preview audio uploaded, I'm going to preview the product again. And now we have our product with a preview audio file embedded, and we can play the audio to try it out. 
In the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to display our audio products in a list using the WooCommerce product table. Just worth noting, if you want to offer variables or options on a product, so for example, if you were selling a download version and a physical CD version, then you can create a variable product. So to do that, you would create a new product in the normal way. And then here in the product data section, select variable product, and then create attributes and variations for your product. By far the easiest way to showcase your audio products is in a list or table. So let's create our product list now. To create your audio store, you're going to need to install the WooCommerce product table plugin. And there's a link to where you can get the plugin in the description below. So once downloaded, you'll need to go to your admin, to plugins, and then add new. Choose the zip file of the plugin. Don't unzip it, just select the zip. And once that's uploaded, you'll see it in your plugins and we can activate it and then go to the plugin settings. Once in settings, you need to just enter your license key that you received when you purchased the plugin, activate it, and we're good to go. If you come down to table display in the settings and tick the two options here, then the plugin will automatically create a product list on your main shop and or category pages. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then in columns here, this is where we tell the plugin which information to display from our products. So I'm going to include the short description for our audio preview, image, name, categories, price, and buy. Now to make the audio preview work, you this is important, you need to come down to the bottom of the settings here and make sure you have the show shortcodes, HTML and other formatting in the table selected. And then save settings. Now I'm gonna to go to my main shop page and see how the audio store is looking. You can see the audio preview players are all there but the title of the audio preview column is actually summary. And that's because we used the short description field to embed the audio player. So let's change the name of this column to something more suitable. So let's go back into the plugin settings and back to our columns here. To rename our short description column, I'm just gonna add a colon at the end of the word before the comma and then the name I want for the column to display, and then let's save our settings again. And now if I refresh our audio store, we now have our audio previews with an appropriate column name. And our audio store is taking shape nicely. You'll find a link to a detailed step-by-step -step written tutorial and a link to where you can purchase the plugin in the description below. Thanks for watching.